Hi, I'm Terry McFlynn from Sydney FC. Let's relive a very special moment in the club's history at Allianz Stadium. Midway through the first decade of the 21st century, Australian soccer entered a bold new era when the A-League was born. The beautiful game was essentially starting all over again in this country. And it was fitting that the nation's premier city should stage the competition's maiden premiership decider. On March 5, 2006, over 41,000 fans filled Allianz Stadium to see Sydney FC fight it out with Central Coast for the right to become the A-League's inaugural champions. Well, there is the roar the players have been waiting for. The moment of truth has arrived. The feeling when we initially stepped onto the pitch was one of euphoria. People were standing two, three yards away from each other. We, you know, we couldn't hear each other. We're off in the grand final. Led by superstar Dwight York, Sydney quickly established themselves as the league's glamour club. However, their less fancied neighbours from the north were determined to upstage them and came out with all guns blazing. In the middle, arriving at his ground, Gumbrecht had to snatch at the chance. Laurie McKinnon's men prize Sydney apart again less than 90 seconds later. Tepano hustled into error. Pondelian, two forward for the Mariners, squared up and didn't get onto the shot. It didn't take long for the home side to settle down and do some attacking of their own. Once again, free header, completely missed by Dwight York. What an opportunity that was. That's a wonderful opportunity for Dwight York and just missed it. Sydney's defence was being fully tested by a positive, hungry Mariners outfit that had gone 12 games without tasting defeat leading up to the big one. Through and onside is Wayne O'Sullivan. Rudin did superbly well. A thoroughly engrossing half of football climaxed with Sydney FC pushing forward and showing just how dangerous they could be. The half volley, Stevie Corica. We talked about things at half time, we tried to keep everyone as, as calm as possible and we'd worked for 46, 47 weeks for that moment and now we're 45 minutes away from it. Sydney certainly looked a much more potent outfit after the break as they enjoyed a far greater share of possession. Corica cuts inside, chance for Sydney, the shot was on target. But Danny Vukovic again equal to the challenge. The pendulum swung and it was the Sky Blues who were now asking all the questions as the timepiece ticked past the hour mark. York flagged down at full stretch. The first A-League Grand Final was still awaiting its opening goal when York stamped his undoubted class on proceedings. Dwight York takes Clark one way and then the other. Squares it up, the shot! Sydney draw first blood in the Grand Final, Stevie Corica. A goal laid on the plate by Dwight York. Thankfully, the Central Coast defence just backed off and backed off and let Dwight run with the ball until eventually he found himself inside the 18-yard box and cut it back to Steve and I was right behind Steve at the time, so I had probably the best view of the, the goal in the whole stadium, to be honest. And to see it slip under Danny Vukovic's arm and, and, and hit the back of the net was a memory that will never leave me and it will stay with me for the rest of my life. So the boys in blue had the edge. It was now a case of fighting tooth and nail to preserve it as the Mariners probed deep into stoppage time. Here comes Bolton. What a save from Jeff Bolton, the save of the season. Well, that's great goalkeeping from Clint Bolton. Takes the pressure off his defence. York. There is the final whistle. Well, they're the biggest and now they're the best. Sydney FC are the champions of Australia. You mix everything in. The emotion of the day, the, the hard work that's gone into it, the thousands of supporters that have turned up to, to see the game. And to bring it all together in a 90-minute period, it's just sheer elation. Sydney FC may well go on to claim truckloads of titles in the decades ahead. However, they will always look back on the history-making afternoon at Allianz Stadium with a special sense of pride, knowing that they were the first side crowned A-League champions.